Bond Sprint series on most frequently asked coding questions. In this series, we will look at variety of coding questions that will help you to get a better score in your written exams and also to crack interviews at companies of your choice. In this series, we will not only look at the solutions for the most frequently asked questions, but also our team of experts will give you different approaches and pointers to improve your coding skills and score some brownie points in your dream interview. In this video, we are going to check programmatically if a number is palindrome or not. It is a name given to a word phrase, uh, numbers or any other sequence of characters which reads the same backwards or forward. For example, uh, one to one, if I'm reading it backwards, it is still going to be read as one to one, right? Similarly, if I want to read one to six to one, backwards also it's going to read the same. However, if I want to read one five three backwards, it becomes three five one. So it's not same and hence it is not a palindrome. With this understanding, let's see how to approach this problem. First, we need to reverse the number and store it in a dummy variable. After we have done this, now we need to compare the input number with the reverse number and see if it reads the same backwards and forwards. Now let's look at the program and see how we can improvise it to a professional looking code. So we have created a function palindrome which takes number as input parameter. Then we have created two variables. The first one is reverse underscore num which will hold the reverse number and then we have got temp which is a temporary variable to hold the input number. Then we have used the while loop to reverse a number. You can understand how while loop was used to reverse a number by watching our video how to reverse a number. Once we have the reverse number, we now simply check using if else construct if the reverse number is equal to the input number that we have given. If it is equal, then we print palindrome number and if not, we say not palindrome number. Now I would like to bring on the concept of functions here. You can break up your code in separate functions to bring in reusability. Not only functions make the program easier to understand, debug and maintain, but they also break the program into uh, smaller professional chunks of codes. Functions come a lot into play in professional programming. So whenever during your interviews or exams, you can uh, incorporate multiple functions uh, so that you can show them that you know about functions and you really implement them. How you divide up your code among various functions is totally up to you. But logically, the division is such that each function performs one specific task. Fortunately, in our problem, we have a similar situation. We have two tasks to perform. The first one is to reverse a number and second, check if the number is a palindrome or not by comparing the reverse number with the given input number. Great, now let's see how we have modified our program to incorporate functions. So first we have created a reverse function which takes number as the input and it returns the reversed number. In this function, we have included the while loop to reverse the number. Second, we have written a palindrome function which takes number as an input. Here it will check the given number with the reverse number that was returned by the reverse function. If the number and the reverse number is same, it is going to return true, otherwise it is going to return false. Or we can do it in another way where we are returning the number if the number is equal to the reverse number. By using functions, you're not only going to showcase your knowledge about it to the interviewer, but also you show them that you are aware of the concepts of reusability and better programming and you actually use it in your programming. We will look at many more coding questions that have been repeatedly asked in several companies in our future videos and help you improve your coding style to make it more professional. Don't forget to subscribe as there are a lot of coding tips and questions coming your way. Also, if you have any interview questions that you would want us to take up here, please drop a comment below or send us an email in this ID. Happy coding. Bye-bye.